Hello everyone, Night Guy back at you. We're gonna do another installment into our Night Guy training. Um, uh, but of course, before you get started training, you always wanna make sure to do your full warm up. Um, I'm already warmed up, ready to go nice and limber. Uh, whether it's uh, light static stretching or range of motion exercises, um, sometimes like I showed with uh, one of my previous videos, doing the wall squat, you can do, um, you know, small mini sets of a workout to build up to whatever workout you're doing. Uh, sport specificity is, is very important. Always be sport specific to whatever sport or, you know, training that you're doing. Uh, you want your workouts to simulate what you're trying to do um, and use progression, you know, so maybe whatever your maximal effort is going to be in the event, you know, build up to that in your training, build up to that at a, a healthy, steady rate. Um, anyhow, um, you know, once we got the warm up out of the way, we're ready to go. Always full disclaimer, of course, if you're watching this and you're thinking of uh, doing this routine, um, uh, use your own pace. If you start feeling pain at any time, stop. Um, if you have any, you know, pre existing health conditions or injuries, please consult your physician before starting something like this. Make sure you get the clearance and, you know, then you're good to go. However, um, you know, um, working out is really for everyone. Everyone should give it a shot. Um, last workout I did was a uh, squat and uh, deadlift uh, routine uh, for, you know, leg strength and, you know, uh, uh, foundation stability, you know, you're, you're keeping those uh, stable roots. Anyway, what we're doing now today is actually going to be a push routine. Um, more specifically, uh, a frontal push, you know, to really build up our strength in that front push, you know, um, as a warrior, you know, you never know when you're going to have to push someone or maybe even give them a good punch. Um, you know, there's plenty of times where I'm binding up with the sword and um, if I can sneak a punch in there, I'm going to do it, you know, it'll knock someone's helmet loose, uh, maybe impede their vision, um, not to mention, you know, if it's a street fight or a unarmed scenario, you can stun them. Uh, knock them unconscious, you know, give you some time to get away or, you know, maybe neutralize whatever the threat is. I'm not advocating violence in any, any way, but, you know, people do need to defend themselves at times. And, you know, a punch is going to come out when that happens. So um, this would help to build up some of your uh, good pushing and, you know, essentially some punching strength. Um, with this workout, um, your major uh, muscles involved is going to be your pecs or your chest. And the uh, back of your arms or your triceps. Um, so uh, let's get right into it. What I'm going to first start by doing um, today is I'm going to start, uh, we're going to do kind of a pre-exhaust where we're going to break down the individual muscles and then we're going to go ahead into, um, you know, a, a compound uh, exercises using the muscle groups together. Um, you know, so first let's go ahead and start with the isolated. Today, um, if you notice, I'm barefoot. Um, every now and then it's a good idea to go ahead and, um, you know, train barefoot. You want to really uh, teach your, your body to have natural balance, and we never balance better than when we're on our bare feet. Um, not to mention, you know, it's good to build up the strength uh, of the muscles in your feet to help you move better. Uh, for any activity, uh, long work, days at work, um, not to mention just uh, having overall balance. Once again, it's very, very important. Um, anyhow, I have here some household items again. We have a chair, uh, bringing back Mr. Chair. We also have a gallon water jug and a half gallon juice jug. And I actually have two pairs here. I have two of each, two juices, two waters. Those are going to be my weights for the day. I mentioned in my last video, um, uh, not last video, the video before last, uh, using um, water jugs for workouts. And I kind of briefly showed some of what you could do. Today I'm going to go into a full demonstration. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Um, we're going to start with uh, the triceps and um, some good workouts to involve your triceps to get them, you know, ready to go. Um, you would grab your jugs. Let's go ahead and grab our jugs. And then what I'm going to do is go up and over my head 
So my arms are kind of in a 90 degree, 90 degree bend backwards. You can have your arms in forward in front of you or to the sides. For this workout, I'm just going to kind of start to the side. Um, and you're just going to extend up. And then nice and slowly, you're going to come back down. I'll show you from the side view. Try to get a good stretch there and come back up. Full extension. Full extension through the whole thing. And then come back up. And then down. And then extend again. Really get that full extension, lock those triceps out. And come back down. Real controlled movements at all times. We're all about controlling our movements here. All right, and then, <clears throat> I'm going to switch to a different form of doing the workout for a mechanical uh, drop set, um, in which case I'm just going to lay down on the floor like such. I'm going to grab my weights again. Let me uh, lay this way so you can see me from the side. Be a little easier. I'm going to grab my water weights again and we're going to do what's known as a skull crusher this time so you're going to start from right about here and set the weights down get yourself in good position and you just extend straight up once again fully locking out those triceps i'm going to come back down nice and slow control and extend back up forward i'm hitting my shelf there and then back down and we're going to come back up and then back down and we're going to come back up all right and that's a mechanical drop set you went from doing the workout one way to switching to doing it another way laying down on the floor uh, for example i have a third option that i want you to try this is going to be uh, really advanced. This one um, is off of a stability ball. Um, now you can do this off of a conventional weight bench as well, but I feel the stability ball is the real challenge. And this is a stability ball right here. Has some sand in it to keep it, you know, from moving around. I can push it and it kind of comes back into place. So when your weight is balanced on this, you have to stabilize the weight to keep from falling over. So I'm going to demonstrate right now doing my tricep extension workout off of this stability ball. I'm going to grab my water weights again. And what I'm going to do is you want to move it back a little bit because you're going to roll forward. You first sit down nice and secure. Then you just let it slide. Up your back as you come forward, as you roll forward. And then we're going to go in here to our tricep extensions. And from right here, raise up. And then back down. With this one, being that I have the extra space to bring my arms all the way back, unlike when I was doing them on the floor, or standing, because just because when you're standing, you can't go all the way back like that. This one, I can actually stretch the tricep just a little bit further as I'm activating it in the lift. See as I'm going down here, kind of stretching it back. And then back up. Good extension, back down. Control the weight the whole way and back up. Nice controlled slow movement. I'm gonna stay uh, in this workout. And I'm actually going to drop it down into a drop set. I'm going to a lighter weight now. I went from a gallon to two half gallons. Uh, mind you, you can do that with any of the workouts that we just did, of course, at any given time. Um, you know, if you decide that you want to stay in that workout and maybe not necessarily do a mechanical drop set, kind of like we're doing right now, where we're just switching workouts uh, one after the other, piling them on. You could stay doing the same workout, and uh, all you have to do is uh, 
go in one direction or the other. Either uh, maybe do a drop step. Sometimes I say go a little bit heavier. And, you know, see where you can really push, twitch the muscles. They're used to a certain stimulus. Now you just change the dynamic. Similar to the multiple, you know, different uh, workouts I just showed you. Um, I just, you know, go through these workouts fast just, to, you know, as a demonstration to you. But, of course, you know, if, if you're doing them, you decide to do these, I would definitely recommend two to three sets of each. Um, I mentioned before, with rep range, uh, you know, you're going to hear 10 to 15 is the golden rule. But, unfortunately, um, I, I don't like that. People get too caught in, in, in that in that, that mindset of I have to do 10 to 15. So, it becomes about quantity and not about quality. I'd rather have a good seven than, uh, you know, mediocre to, you know, low performing 10 or 15, for example, even, you know, double, double the number, but half the quality, so to speak, you know. Now, by all means, if you're getting to 10 to 15 of full quality reps with good control, like I demonstrate, like I just demonstrated, by all means, go ahead and continue that. Well, with that being said, we just broke down the muscles individually on the tricep, now we're gonna break down the muscles for your pecs. Um, I'm gonna do another two uh, right now, just to show you. Um, you know, I did the three, but technically the last two were both skull crushes. One was just off the floor, one was off the stability ball. Um, if you have a stability ball, use it. If you can only do it off the floor, go ahead and do it off the floor. Remember, I also mentioned that you could do it off of a, a standard weight bench. So let's move that to the side. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to go into our uh, next workout, which um, is one that uh, you have to be pretty careful with. Um, and I really only recommend doing this off of the floor. I mean, you, you can do it off of a bench. I'll show you off the stability ball either way. But uh, on this channel, everything's about safety. So I always demonstrate the safest option first. So your safest bet to do this workout is going to be off the floor. What we're doing is a pec fly. It's known as a pec fly, a chest fly, where you're forcing your chest muscles to contract inward to bring in your arms. Um, we're going to do it with some resistance using our weights. I'm going to go for the water weights first. And all you're going to do, you lay down nice and flat. You know, get yourself in a good position, and you're just going to come up. Don't come up all the way too high. If you bring your arms all the way in, you're officially not, you officially don't have any resistance on the muscles uh, required. So I say go right about here. And you just come back down nice and slowly. Back up. What I enjoy about doing this workout is that um, it only allows your arms to go down so far, really, to a healthy point. Anything past here, and you're, you're really risking possibly damaging your shoulder or, you know, pulling something else from just kind of going too far. Um, the way, you know, with, with weights outstretched like that, our shoulders aren't meant to support and carry that much weight stretched out in an angle like that. <clears throat> So since I'm only showing, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to do three this time, three, three different workouts that is. I'm not really going to do any drop set now to drop the weights. Uh, what I am going to do is a, a mechanical uh, set, a mechanical drop set, and I'm going to do them off of the stability ball now. Now, mind you, you want to be very careful with this. You can also do it off of a bench. I don't have a bench. I use a stability ball for all my workouts that I would use a bench due to the challenge of having to, well, maintain your stability through the workout. Um, it, great, it, it, it really increases the function and strength of your core, which is always great. So we're going to go back down again into our pec flies now, just like this. Now we're off of the ball. So now I have to balance myself in place just a little bit more which is great, helping me to build up a nice uh, stable core, nice abdominal muscles, good strong lower back muscles, 
just from balancing while doing a workout. Adding that extra dynamic in. All right, I'm kind of fatiguing out since I did that drop set, but I don't want to give up yet. So let's go ahead and switch to our uh, half, half gallon jugs now. Same thing, nice and controlled. And we're gonna push it out until we, we have no more. All right. Now I have uh, two more chest workouts. I'm gonna do well, really one more, but it's gonna be another mechanical switch. Um, as I'm demonstrating right now, if you like doing them on the floor, do them on the floor and do them off the bench. You know, um, always tweaking the dynamic of your workouts is, is, is really one of the greatest benefits you can do. It's how you keep your gains coming in, how you, you know, you stay ahead of the curve, keep that metabolism up, keep yourself nice and strong. Anyways, now we're going to go into a workout that isn't necessarily... Um, based off of the primary function of the pecs, but it does get triggered. Um, it's actually a workout um, that I was doing recently when I was working on a pull and carry. Um, and this is actually a lat pullover, um, which, yes, is going to target the, the, the lat muscles, which is your back, your latissimus muscles, anyhow. Um, but doing them in the manner where you, you crush the grip in as you bring the weight up in front of you, or, or downward, you know, if I had a, some sort of pulley system, I'd be just pulling downward. Um, but I don't here, so we're going to work with what we got. Um, anyhow, in that pulling motion, uh, when you squeeze in, your chest definitely gets some activation. So this is a great workout to throw in on your uh, chest day. Uh, maybe drop set from the, the flies into this instead of, uh, you know, switching from the floor to the ball. Maybe you go from the floor, right in, after you do your flies, right into your, your pullover, your, 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 your crush grip pullovers. So uh, let me demonstrate that again. We did those last time. For this one, um, I, 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 I'll start with a nice lightweight. Uh, this workout is definitely a challenging one. So we crush and nice and tight. And keep that crush grip the whole motion through. Bring it down nice and low. And then we're going to come back up. And then again, I'm already starting to shake just from keeping that, that squeeze on the whole way. But don't give out. And, you know, like I said, never be shy to go for the lighter weights. Everyone starts somewhere. The importance is that you're training. Oof. Already uh, fatiguing out on that one. So we're just going to take a quick pause while I reset up to do my mechanical drop set. And this time, I'm going to do them off the stability ball again. All right, we're going to sit down, roll into it. I grab my weight, stabilize my balance, squeeze the bottle, extend out, and here we go with this... Uh, Stability ball, you can also do it off of a bench, just like the other workouts you mentioned, but doing it either off of the stability ball or a bench, I can now get a further range of motion. Once again, getting more of a stretch. Just make sure to keep that squeeze grip the whole way through. Keep that chest activated. <sighs> Let me tell you, Quite a challenge. I might even start feeling that in your, your abs a lot, especially doing them off of something like this. People always ask how to get nice abs, and um, what you're seeing me do now is the way you get nice abs. Um, crunches, leg lifts, that stuff is great to build up the muscle and the strength there, but um, your abs serve more of a more of a function than just curling your spine. Uh, your abs are abs are meant for you know stability. Same thing with your obliques, your entire core is really more used in stability. So the more challenging uh, muscle, uh, I'm sorry, muscle uh, workouts that you throw, 
um, at your body that require more stability, the better core you're going to have. Anyway, speaking of stability, let's go into our next workouts. We just uh, broke down um, the different muscle groups. Uh, you know, you did your, the isolated, uh, we isolated the, the pecs and the triceps. Now, we're going to use them together. So, um, you know, I mentioned again, I only did this as a demonstration. Um, you know, I didn't go through the full workout. You know, that'd be a very boring video. I doubt anyone wants to sit down and just watch me work, do a full workout. Um, anyhow, um, two to three sets on each of those, you know, for your workout. Then you take a pause, give yourself a minute or two in between, and now we're going to do uh, the more compound lifts, uh, the, the less isolated, you know, um, workouts that kind of build your overall strength a little bit more. Um, and for me, when it comes to pushing, there's nothing that I love better uh, than, um, you know, really push-ups and bench pressing. Now, don't be intimidated by the bench pressing or the push-up. Um, there's a lot of people out there that can't do any push-ups, and that's fine. There's a lot of people out there that think they can do a lot of push-ups, and they really can't. Um, once again, it's a quality thing, which is all about form and control, and you'll see people breezing through push-ups, and they're getting very high numbers, but they're not doing them right. So, that being said, let's knock the easy one out first. Easy one is going to be the bench press for today. Um, I do like doing the bench press, don't get me wrong, you can, you know, get under a good bar and really load up the weight, or if you're on a machine, you can, but, um, I don't really prefer using barbells too much, I like having individual weights in my hands, it helps with, uh, the balance, you get to really see where your weaknesses are, whether you're weaker on your left side or your right side, uh, anyhow, I'm going to demonstrate, uh, doing a floor bench press. Um, you know, you don't have to have equipment once again, you know, there's no real excuse to train. Yes, I have a mat on the floor right now, but I do these off of the tiles sometimes, um, you know, just to change it up. If you can get a mat, go ahead and get a mat. It's a good idea. You don't want to beat up your, your, you know, your body. You don't want to beat yourself up for no reason. Um, so we're going to do our bench press off of the floor first, and then I'm going to do another mechanical switch. So um, let's get right into it. I'm going to start with my water weights on this one. <clears throat> so first I'm going to demonstrate the bench press, standard just like this, I'm going to grab our weights, get them in position, and you're just going to press up, full extension and lockout, and then back down. What you want to make sure to do is to keep your shoulder girdle locked down. And in other words, um, I'm not doing any shrugging right now. My shoulders are nice and low. They're not coming up towards my ears. Um, I'm also not pushing my shoulders inward. See that? See what I just did? How I brought my shoulders inward? That's what I don't want to do. I want to just push the weight forward. Keeping the weight on my triceps and my chest. Alright, let me show you again. Drop set real fast while I'm here. Just to demonstrate a drop set. Drop sets are always great ideas. And see, nice controlled movement and up. It's not going to be, um, you know, me doing this and trying to push up. No, I'm not pushing up and, and, and bringing my shoulders all the way inward. Because then you're really using too much of your shoulders, not enough of your, your pecs and your triceps. And uh, we'll, we'll do shoulder workouts on another day. I'll do a video like that soon, but for now... We're uh, mainly doing the, the front push, which is primarily uh, chest and triceps, or our pecs and triceps. All right, now we finished up uh, off the floor. Let's do the uh, mechanical set. This time I'm going to show you from the side view, just to demonstrate some uh, proper path. So once I'm back down and balanced again, where's my other bottle? There we go. Once I'm back down and balanced again, all right, see, shoulders aren't up, shoulders are locked, and just push straight up, kind of stay along the path of your nipple line, is really the correct path for the weights to go, see, I'm kind of going straight up, and then I'm coming down a little bit. 
I'm not just I'm not pushing up this way. I'm not pushing up that way. Kind of straight up in front of me. And back down. And again. While I'm here, let's go ahead and grab those water jugs again. The juice jug this time. And go right in to our drop set. If you're doing drop sets in your workouts or mechanical drop sets, I really would only recommend doing two sets for the workout because if you're doing a drop set, um, you know, uh, basically what I just did now, that technically be four sets. I did, uh, you know, the first workout off the floor and then I dropped the weight while still going. Um, then I switched to the, the stability ball. Or, you know, you can switch to your bench and then I drop the weights again. So that was two sets per workout um, right there, you know. Um, so you don't want to overdo it on your body too much. If you're doing drop sets or mechanical supersets, um, you know, I would only recommend doing two at a time. Um, you know, uh, don't overdo it is, is mainly the gist, you know. It's good to train yourself and, and challenge yourself, but there's no need to, to beat yourself into the ground. To where you can't keep working out, you know, that defeats the purpose. Anyways, after you'd be uh, done with those, you know, um, I kind of ramble on in my videos just to give you some more information. And this is a tutorial.